keep telling you, Professor. We're in Jakarta, the last stop before Sydney. Then why didn't you say we'd arrived? It's not Sydney yet. It's Jakarta. Yes, I know, but I thought at first it was Jakarta. <laughs> We've got an hour to kill. Let's go get something to eat. Eat? Mm. I wonder how long it's been since that poor old chap has had a square meal. <laughs> poor old soul. There you go. Uh, uh, thank you. Well, that's my good deed for the day. I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> Billions of blistering! Captain Haddock? Scoot! Scoot! Hello, my old friend Tintin. What are you up to? I pilot my boss to Sydney for the Astronautical Congress. That's where we're going. Whoever owns this mud should muzzle him. Scoot, I've been looking for you everywhere. The flight plans have come in. Nice guy. He is the new navigator. I do not like him very much. The regular navigator took ill very suddenly yesterday. I am hoping he gets better soon. So who are you guys working for? The millionaire, Las Locaredas. The man who never laughs. What's the chance of me getting an interview with him? Pretty good. Here he comes now. Hmm. He must be all right. He's taken that poor guy under his wing. Mr. Caredas, these are my friends who also go to Congress in Sydney. How do you do, Mr. Caredas? Uh, Captain, you are meeting Mr. Spalding. This is Mr. Caredas. But, but, sorry, I... I don't shake hands. Very unsanitary. <laughs> <laughs> are you all right, sir? So, you're all going to Sydney, are you? Yes, we're just waiting for our plane. No need to wait any longer. You're coming with me. Go, go, go! It's very kind of you, Mr. Caratus, but I'm afraid we can't accept your offer. Rubbish! Snowy's such a fidgety traveler, and... Snowy? Snowy? He must have followed Mr. Spaulding. I'd better go find him. So, Captain, perhaps we can have a game of battleships during the flight. Fight? Is that a fight? No, no! I... I was very good at Savati in my youth. Savati? No, no, I said Savati. French boxing. <laughs> I'm a little out of practice. <laughs> He's priceless! You're late, Spalding. There was quite a lineup at the counter, sir. I'm not interested, Spalding. Yes, sir. What do you think of my latest toy? It's magnificent. And fast. Three Picassos, a Renoir, Buy them all. Hans, my friends are coming with us as guests of Mr. Caredas. Welcome aboard, everyone. More new crew? Not bad for an old sea dog. Hmm? My turn. I'll have A4, B4, and C4. Hmm. Good shot, Mr. Caredas. A destroyer sunk by three direct hits. G1. G2 and G3. Hmm. Another hit. Blistering barnacles. You just sank my last destroyer. What luck. Not luck, Captain. Skill. To the rear of the plane and move it. Spalding, you're fired. That's no great loss. I didn't like working for an old cheat anyway. Cheat? 
he actually uses closed-circuit television to win a silly game of battleships. Cheating, huh? Oh, relax, Captain. Everyone, sit against forward section, hands behind head. Is this a television show? Hat! Give the cheat his hat before he gets sunstroke. He won't get sunstroke where he's going. You hold it for him. Ten thousand tramps, terrapins, troglodytes, savages, Aztecs, rats! Left, Captain. Now to the right. A little to the left. No, Captain, left. Left! Ooh! <laughs> Ten thousand thundering typhoons. When I get my hands on you, Alan, I'll stuff your hat down your throat. <laughs> hey! Welcome to the parlor, gentlemen. What's going to happen to us? After Caradus talks, you'll go back to the plane, be towed out to sea and sunk. So enjoy what little time you have left, gentlemen. Bandit! Bootlegger! Bashy Bazook! Here, let me get that hat off. Oh, my precious hat! Disgraceful! It's disgraceful! <laughs> it suits you! Shh! Listen! What is it? Disgraceful! Nothing. I guess I thought I heard Snowy barking. I don't know, Tintin. I think maybe... Uh, Snowy's... Uh, I heard something. Yes, it sounds like... <laughs> Three cheers for Snowy! <laughs> hip, hip, hooray! Captain! Now what have I done? Wait here, Snowy. What's all the noise? Hmm? Uh... <coughs> Wham! Well done! <laughs> Good boy, Snowy. Captain, we'll look for Caratus. I think Snowy can trace him from the scent of his hat. Okay, but let's get out of here before Alan shows up. What is it, boy? That must be where they're holding Caratus. Sorry, boss. Clumsy quack. Do you believe this? What? Nobody blows a raspberry at me. Take this. We'd better get in there. Help the boss! Is... Ooh. Oh. Oh. Help me! The boss has gone crazy. <laughs> Here, stop that. Blistering barnacles, you're unbearable. So, who's the baddest now? <laughs> I'm the baddest, I am, I am, I'm the baddest. Oh, God, I you am, help I me. Am, he was I'm going to kill me. I am, I am, I'm the baddest. I, am, I, am, I said, stop it. The baddest, I am, I am. Blistering. You've got to help me. Please. Nobody loves me. I'm the baddest, I Please. am. Please. Got to help me. I'm the baddest. Now let's move it. This way. This will be some story. All right, that's enough. Come on, cut it out. You hear me? Ow! What's so funny? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Blistering barnacles. Why didn't I just stay home? Get back here. Captain, quiet. 
tell that to these two. The serum hasn't worn off yet. All right. Cut it out. Ow! Why, you? Captain, no. He's delirious. He doesn't know what he's doing. Huh? Blistering barnacles. Hey, get down! Rastapopolis! You'd better go after him. I'll hold down the fort. Hey, get back here! Blistering barnacles! Confound everything! He got away. That's okay. Just get Karatus and the doctor out of here. But I'll catch up with you on the mountain. Come on. <laughs> Don't forget that Rastapopolis planned to kill you. Don't worry. I want to get off this island as much as you do. Good. Then you take care of Karatus, and I'll go look for Tintin. He'll never find us in here. Grab Karatus and follow me. How in blazes did he? Come on! But where are you taking us? What? Tintin! Tintin! <laughs> How did you know there was... Quick! Into the cave! <laughs> but I hate caves, Tintin! <laughs> You're hearing what? A voice in my head. <laughs> it's telling me what to do. That's crazy. Maybe, but this voice hasn't steered me wrong yet. Look! Wow! You and your voices! Now we're trapped! Quick! This way! The right eye of the statue? Press the right eye? An underground passage! Hurry! you know to press the eye of that statue? The voice told me. Voices! Voices! Have you completely... Huh? Who, who's that? Y yes, sir. I'll be quiet, sir. Tintin! Wait for me! Most irregular. Professor Calculus? Behaving rather oddly. I'll have to ask our host. Host? Ghost? Oh, no. He's quite real. See it for yourself. What? Good evening, gentlemen. My name is Mike Kanrokitov. You're the voice in my head. Duh. This thought transmitter allows for telepathic communication. That's quite some invention you came up with. I cannot take the credit. The thought transmitter was invented by those from the other world. What other world? I am acting as link between Earth and those on an extraterrestrial planet. Aliens, I believe you are calling them. Aliens? Oh, come on. You expect us to believe that? See there? Proof is on the wall. That was painted over a thousand years ago. That looks like a spaceship. Say, where's my hat? What's the matter? Hey, hey stop! Help! Relax. It's only a tremor. These South Sea Islands are famous for them. One more tremor and it may erupt. Thundering typhoons! Ooh, hi. My hey, get back here! I take way! Captain! Yeah. <laughs> to the crater of a volcano that's ready to blow? It is where Astro Ship is coming. You are crazy. Captain, have you seen the professor? Yeah, he was right behind us. He's still inside. You can't go back there. Tintin, 
This is incredible! Blistering barnacles. No one would ever believe this! That is correct. No one will believe your story because you will never tell it. What? Of course we will! And yet, you see, your hosts believe many on Earth are not ready to be learning of other worlds. What are you going to do? You will not be harmed. Simple mass hypnosis is all. Mass hypnosis is impossible! Besides, that sort of nonsense would never affect us. Affect us. Affect us. Forget. The last thing you will be remembering is flying in Mr. Carita's jet. Carita's jet. You. Plane is crashing. Sleep now. Sleep now. No! Well, what about the rest of the crew? Well, I can't, I can't remember. I, I, I don't, I'm not a clue. Colin, I'm here with the well-known reporter, Tintin, who was among the survivors of the crash. Tintin, tell us, what happened out there? Well, there was nothing unusual about the flight, but everything after the takeoff is a complete blank. So you have no clue as to how you ended up near that erupting volcano? Only one. I'll let Professor Calculus tell you about it. Who can ever tell us what really happened?